Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of Project S3. So we have a number of jobs that we need to get done today. We've got two curtain airbags to put back in place. We've got the final pipe in the air conditioner circuit to fit back in place and then we'll connect up the two pipes to the condenser. And then finally we've got our headlining to put back in once we get the airbags in place. So um, let's not waste any more time. Let's get out and put that back into the car. Okay, so as we showed you on a Thursday, we've got our two airbags laid out there. They've been there for the past couple of days. And then of course we've got our pipe here for the air conditioner unit. Also, we've got our um, cable system here. This is for the bonnet catch to open up the um, bonnet when we um, pull the latch inside. So that's arrived. That's taken about three weeks to come. So I'm glad that's finally in place. There's a couple of bits that still need to be done, but we're not worried about that at this stage. Let's just get out and do some work finally, huh? Okay, just before we put this in the car, each airbag has a specific side that it has to go on, okay? So this one here, the white, is the right-hand side, and then here we have the left-hand side. You'll see a letter on there that shows. So you've got L there for left, and R there for right, and it literally is left and left and right. So how they're laid out here, this is the left side, that's the right-hand side. Can't get them mixed up. And as usual, before we put anything to do with airbags, we're gonna disconnect the battery just to be safe. In fact, that is the procedure you should always follow when you're doing anything to the airbags. Disconnect the battery because you are dealing with explosives. Okay, one airbag in and all connected up. Hopefully you can see that. It's a bit dark in here. There you go. So that one's all done and connected up. It went in pretty easy actually. Um, so now we need to do the other side. Okay, so that side is now in as well. That one went in even easier and very straightforward and is now also all connected up. Right, now it's try time for the headliner. Okay, so so far we've got one side done. So there's a handle done here. You, don't know if you can see it there. There you go. So we've done the handle and we've done the trim on that side. And we've still got this side here to do. This is proven to be a complete nightmare because getting these little clips, these little clips in here, they have to go in a certain way, then you've got to push them in. But what keeps happening is they keep on popping right through. And when they pop right through these metal frames, you then got to get your hand underneath there, pass the airbag to get it out, and it's proven to take a lot longer. That's why I haven't shown this bit on camera. Anyway, let's get this final piece done, and then that will be it for the door handles, and the roof liner will be in place properly. But it's going in well, though. We're very happy with the way it's going back in. It just clips into place, uh, as you know. Um, in terms of getting it back into place. Right, let's get this done. Right, I've got it done. So both sides are now done. That side didn't take as long as the other side did. It took me about 10 minutes. It was still a pain, but it's in. And while I was at it, I took the steering wheel out as well. So now I can get this in properly. 
and uh, sort out why it's, it's um, not working properly or the, uh, the horn keeps on going off because it's not uh, allowing it to release. I think I know why. We'll get that sorted as well now. Right, air conditioning pipe time. So we need to uh, take this bumper off so we can gain access to that. We'll feed the pipe through there and then we'll do the front pipes underneath there. Okay, so that is the um, air conditioning system all plumbed up and put back together, as you can see there. Now I want to talk to you about this pipe here. So this pipe here is called a passenger pressure sensor. Okay, not passenger, a pedestrian pressure sensor. It's connected to this device here. There's two of them, one at either end. I've taken the one off this end off. And the reason being is because this pipe is short. Now this pipe will split and it also has a split in the middle somewhere. Let me just find it. Here it is here. So this, you can see it here, it's split there. To replace this pipe, you can't get this pipe as a standalone system. You have to replace basically the two sensors. That's the only way, even though the sensors are fine, you have to replace that. This sensor is £100, £100 for both sensors. So what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to get another rubber pipe, because I can pick up this pipe. There's nothing special about this pipe, believe me, it's just a normal plastic pipe. And basically it's designed that when the car hits a passenger, it basically hits that, sends a pressure to this sensor. This sensor detects that a passenger has hit it and then it deploys the pins in the bonnet so the bonnet pushes up like that. So if you look at it from a side view the bonnet does that and cushions the blow of the passengers so that they don't have a heavy head impact. That's all that that does. It is a very important tool but for a hundred pound for a bit of rubber pipe I'm going to um, replace it with a standard pipe. Like I said, there's nothing special about this pipe. It isn't made of any particular material other than a standard rubber. So as long as I get the holes, the diameter right, then that should be good enough and a thickness, which I can get. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna replace this pipe rather than spend a hundred pound on these sensors. Okay, so the final piece to finish off this um, set of radiators, the three rads that we've got, intercooler, radiator and um, air conditioned radiator, is to fit the fan back in. So we'll do that and then that finishes the engine bay. Of course, other than the fan, um, the um, air box, which I do have, but we're not going to fit yet. So the radiator is now back in place. Took a little bit longer than anticipated. As you can see, I had to actually move the front out of the way because obviously putting the uh, air conditioning pipes back in meant that there was less room to work with. So I had to drop the front to get the uh, uh, fan, radiator fans in. But it's in now, all connected up. So we're good to go on that. Of course, that does leave one thing. I have to put the headlights back in. So let's go and do that right now.
Okay, so headlights are back in. Now, if you're wondering why I haven't bolted down the headlights, the wings, and that bumper, it's because I knew that I'd have to take it apart numerous times. Um, so there's no point bolting it all up and then having to unbolt it all. I mean, you saw that I had to literally take the front off to get the radiator in. So, although we are very close to finishing this car, there's still lots of to and fro in. So until I get to that final moment, for example, Here's that sensor here. So this plugs into the other end of this pipe here, the sensor, I've not got it on the car. Um, so I've got to put that in and i still got to replace this pipe. So there's absolutely no point in bolting this up properly until we, we, we get there. But we get in there and we've got some bits that should be coming this week. For example, the, there's a bolt that goes in here, or a rod. And what that does is it allows me to um, fasten or shut the bonnet properly. And we've still got to put the um, uh, catches in, and there's one and there's two on the other side. So that's coming up in a forthcoming video. But again, we're waiting for parts so that we can finish that task. So that's the reason why we're not bolting it up. So I've got one more thing to do. I'm just going to put that bonnet back on, and then we're going to sort out the uh, airbag that we took off. So we'll put that back on first. Okay, so I'm just trying to work out why this is not sitting right in, in here. I'm just checking these pins here. So these are the three pins that these three pins suck into. And then we've got the horn here. So that's the, basically, when that touches together, that's what sets the horn off. And in here you've got three springs and that's what allows you to push them in so for some reason when when I place them back in here they just weren't sitting right so I'm gonna have a quick look around and we'll try again and get them back in place by sheer coincidence right okay so I've taken this screw out this screw goes into here that bolt there and what it was it, it was bent like this and I think what happened was that this wasn't sitting square on there so it meant that it couldn't um, get into the cup and also I found a bit of the old there we go that was in there as well so I think this got stuck and didn't come out properly and the combination of that meant it was bent so what I've done I've taken it into the garage and straightened this up I'll put this back in now and then we'll see if it looks better or if it fits better rather moments later okay that's better and now I have a horn whereas before it wasn't doing that it was getting stuck so I'll just plug it in and check it but other than that I think that's it we are fixed right okay so ignition is back on so we'll just check the horn yeah that's working perfectly now whereas before it'll get stuck on so that's absolutely fine we've fixed that problem brilliant okay so with the airbag sorted out now that's pretty much the interior sorted. There's a couple of things we need to do. We need to put the um, a pillar trim back in, but we'll do that next week. And we also got to put the trim back in there. Um, but we've got some, hopefully got some more bits coming next week and then we can pretty much get this car sorted and ready for its first drive, would you believe? Um, yeah, momentous moment that will be going out for his first drive so that that's in the next couple of weeks but it all depends on the last few bits that we're waiting for arriving on time okay so that's it for this week i hope you have enjoyed this episode of uh, getting this car together we are so close to finishing it if it wasn't for this uh, current virus uh, uh the coronavirus we would have been finished the car by now but unfortunately we got to stay indoors and do some self-isolation, do our bit. So anyway, thank you for viewing this. Don't forget to subscribe down here. Give us a thumbs up. That's really important for the channel. Don't forget to share this video as well. Share it in other platforms. And we're going to start putting some more photos up on um, Instagram. So our Instagram channel, if you look on the um, front page of the channel, you'll see that we have our Instagram page as well. So subscribe to that as well. But more importantly, share this channel. So that's it. Hope you've had a, um, well, have a good week and we will see you hopefully midweek.